the Mini and you're looking for an exhaust system to spice things up, look no further because in this video we're going to show you the best exhaust system to get on your Mini. If you haven't yet, please subscribe as it really helps us out. My name is Ethan and welcome to Car Creations. So if you own a Mini, there's so many exhaust systems available. So you could go for a cheap option like removing cats or you could remove the exhaust and straight pipe it some way like that. Or you could look for a aftermarket titanium exhaust by Soul or something like that. And there's another option too, the JCW Pro exhaust. So once I finally decided what exhaust system to put on my car, the results sounded like this. Sounds epic, eh? <laughs> I love it. So after a long search, we kind of came across an exhaust offered by Mini themselves. It was a valve exhaust. It was called the JCW Pro Exhaust. So I'm looking for an exhaust. I was kind of looking for the tone. Um, I wanted to make sure it didn't have a drone. I wanted the sound of the pops. I also wanted a valve exhaust to give it the ability to get turned off. <laughs> This is also my daily driver, so I need to make sure that it's livable still. And having crazy loud pops does get old after you have to commute for a bit in your car. <laughs> Woo! So the drone was a big thing because a lot of exhaust and straight pipe options give a car a certain level of drone. And while it can be exciting for the moment, at the same time, I didn't want it to have the sound of a straight piped Honda, which no hate to Hondas, but it wasn't, it doesn't really match this car's character. And with this mini exhaust, it was actually developed to cut out a lot of that drone while still having a nice, loud, crisp, clear exhaust note and also loud, crisp, snappy pumps. One of the things I love about this exhaust, it's not necessarily loud but oh my goodness, the pops are loud. To add to the daily livability of this car, this exhaust system from Mini comes with valves and a little cool little button with a little lanyard thing on it, which you can double click on it and it opens, double click and it closes. And if you double click when it's open, you do hear a certain level of exhaust drone, but nothing overbearing. It actually sounds really good on the road. But if you want to be able to drive along and talk to your passengers, listen to some music, and not worry too much about drone. You just double click it, and here, I'll show you. Turn it to green mode. And it's stock. It literally sounds like a stock mini. But that's not fun, is it? So, open it back up again. It has a little foam holder for it that sits right in your cup holder, and it almost looks stock, almost. So I'm not saying this exhaust is the only exhaust out there that does all this stuff for you and checks all these boxes. But I basically had to come to an informed decision after listening to clips online on YouTube and listening to what people had to say about the exhaust in their cars. I'm sure there's lots of other exhausts out there that does it, so it's definitely not the only one. However, in saying that, this exhaust, because it's offered by Mini and because it was installed by Mini, it doesn't void the warranty of the car. And that can't be said about many of the other exhaust systems. This system is quite expensive, so here in Canada, with the cost of the system itself, the chrome tips I got, the little button, as well as the installation, it came to just over $3,000, which is quite pricey. So you really have to be sure that's exactly what you want. In saying that, you might find a shop that will do it cheaper for you, and that's great, but do look around because I believe Mini actually has to code the exhaust to your car. So bear that in mind when you're looking for a shop to do the exhaust for you. <coughs> So overall the exhaust, I'm really happy. Uh, if I want, I can take the cats out and it'll give it a, an overall louder noise, but still without the drone. So that could be an option for the future. Uh, if you happen to live in Europe or if you're getting a new LCI car, unfortunately in Europe with the OPF filters and all that garbage, they don't sell this exhaust system. You might be able to find this exhaust online and get it and install it, but it still won't be as loud 
and you might have to go around the OPF system. And that, I don't know if they found a way to code that out yet. So it might not work for you. If you live in North America or other places other than Europe and you don't have the OPF filter, then this exhaust will still work for you, but it won't be, you won't get the loud pops unless you actually code your engine to do that. Because sadly with regulations, a lot of the new LCI cars, I believe it was 2020 and later, they took, they got rid of the pops. But simply having loud exhaust is better than nothing, isn't it? So now, if you have a different exhaust or went with a different system, please let us know in the comments exactly why you went to that system, if you like it, and exactly what system it is. I'd be really curious to find out, and I'm sure those watching the video would find it helpful as well. So that's the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you really liked it. Most of all, we hope you all have an amazing day, and we'll see you all in the next one. If you liked it, please subscribe. Don't mind us, Don't man. Mind us. <laughs> He's minding us. Yeah.